Are you going to help me? I know it's food food time, but you, got, you have to wait. Go downstairs. Hi guys, Terry here. I wanted to do a series about um, organizing items in your um, scrapbook room. And um, I thought I would start with albums. Um, so uh, there's a lot of important things to know about your albums. You want to keep them in a dry uh, place. You want to keep them in a place that's not getting um, too much light, or at least that the albums are closed and the photographs aren't getting, um, you know, sunlight fading them. So um, I've got a variety of albums. Um, I've got 12 by 12s for um, all of my kids growing up years. Uh, they each have a color. Um, they're just in chronological order. I didn't put the dates on them. I've just got volume one, volume two, so on and so forth. Um, but I'm using the um, IKEA Calyx unit. Um, I find it very handy because the books do fit. Um, the opening is larger than 12 inches, so the 12 inch binders fit. Um, I've got the Strap Hinge by Creative Memories. I also have some post-bound ones, like this one's a um, Disney album, so that's a post-bound. Um, and then I also do have some of the 3D, uh, the three ring binders. Um, I don't have very many of those. I was starting to switch over to those, but I do really love the Creative Memory albums. Um, so I think what's most important about the albums is that your photographs are um, telling a story in those albums. So I'm trying to think of what else to tell you. Um, a lot of people ask me what scrapbooking is all about, um, and it is about telling uh, the story in pictures. So, um, you know, I've got it from their baby books on up through um, high school and then uh, even later years. I've also got some little smaller books. Um, these are in a nice size to give as gifts. They're also just a nice, you know, if something's a super uh, memorable moment, this is, um, you know, got little ones of each grandchild. Um, if you do display, like here's a, um, I like this little contraption here. This displays uh, layouts. So what you have to keep in mind is if you've got stuff out like this, um, you know, the sun is going to fade this. So just keep that in mind that you don't have it in a real bright, bright sunny area. Um, there's also chipbook, chipbook albums. Uh, these are nice to stay out and display. Um, you know, my, my grandsons love to flip through this stuff and touch it. It's very tactical. Um, so those, you know, this isn't going to stay a long time. This is going to get dusty and it's going to fade and it's going to get worn out from people touching it. But I think it's fun. Um, so, um, and I would say the other thing about photo album or the scrapbook albums are they're a little bit different from photo albums. Photo albums just have the pictures in them. And with scrapbooking, we can have all kinds of fun uh, decorating them and, um, you know, journaling in them, writing the story down so people can remember years from now what was going on in the pictures. Um, this one, these postbound ones are smaller. They think these are an eight by eight. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess I would just really recommend that you've got the stuff out and about where your family will um, use them. Um, it's funny, this week I was even making my kids, hey Hershey, making my kids um, look at their albums because I had recently gone to some crops and they hadn't seen the pictures that I had done lately. So, um, you know, maybe on their birthdays or something, you pull the books out and, uh, and flip through the memories. So I got to take the dogs outside. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.